So in Book Creator, the place that it takes you to is your teacher dashboard. This is kind of like behind the scenes of your Book Creator account. Now, one of the things that you'll notice in Book Creator is that you have your own personal library. This is a spot where you can create up to 40 books inside this library and you can publish those books for yourself. So that's a great resource to have. If you're just interested in creating a book and you want to share it out, a great way to do it is through Book Creator. But if you want students to create, students can't create their own libraries. They have to join libraries created by a teacher. So the first step, if you're interested in learning how to use Book Creator with students, is to create your own library. And again, you can see under where it says my libraries, I have zero libraries. I have an option of up to one on the free version. If you pay for Book Creator, you have several other options in terms of libraries that you can create. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create my library. And I'm just going to call this one Mr. Colosi's Classroom. Now, as you create your library, you have some options in terms of how you want to administer Book Creator. So you can see on here, things you can turn on or off is the option to search for images within the program. We'll take a look at that. The other thing is students being able to edit their own books. This is something which you can turn on or turn off. And then there's also the option of students being able to read each other's books. We'll see what that looks like in a second, but this may be something that you want to turn off or maybe you want to turn it on. It's completely up to you, but we'll talk about that. And then the last step is students being able to publish their own books online. Normally, if I'm working with teachers, especially with younger students, I'll have them keep this off. Basically, what that means is your students won't be able to publish a book unless you actually publish it for them. It gives you a little bit more quality control as a teacher. So I would leave the settings the way that they are. So let's go ahead and create our library.